I'm out here today exploring some really awesome limestone outcroppings in the Idaho Montana region. Right now I'm in Idaho and there are layers and layers deep of these limestones. Many of them are tilted and folded in interesting patterns. Now another cool feature are the fossils and I've got a few that I found here. Check these out. Uh, as you can see there's a fossil in there. The orange stuff are lichens. Those aren't the fossils. Um, but you can see the pattern there. Uh, some of them are quite large. There's the interior of that one. See, that's just a kind of a cross section of the middle of that one. <clears throat> Here's a whole section. These are corals. These are corals called horn corals. And one of the most interesting questions to pose is, what are these from? How old are these? Now, being that they're corals, we know that they're marine limestone in origin, so a marine seaway. But how old could they be? We have several ways to date rocks and to date the strata that we found these fossils in. Now, review that the several ways to date would be relative dating and absolute dating. Where absolute dating, we might use a technique that gives us a very precise date with minor variation. And we would use uh, more intricate techniques, some chemical analyses, zircon dating, things like that. But when we're just in a field like this, we can use what's called relative dating. And that means we look at the the, the layers and we think about what's above and what's below and then we can confine the dates of our unit depending on the dates of what's above and what's below and one really useful tool for that is actually the fossils we find. Some fossils help us constrain the dates of the rocks we're looking at. So how old could these fossils actually be based on thinking about those relative dates? Well. Let's think about what could the dates be for sedimentary rocks, right? Limestone, sedimentary rocks. What dates could possibly be um, possible for sedimentary rocks that we find in these regions of Idaho, in this case of East Idaho? So one important thing to consider is that sedimentary rocks don't often get that old in terms of saying a billion years old or older. We don't often find sedimentary rocks that old because they end up eroding away as opposed to some of our really old complexes that are more often igneous or metamorphic types of rocks. But there are some exceptions to that rule. One of those exceptions are the belt formations, the Precambrian belt formations. Precambrian suggests, as it sounds, that they're older than the Cambrian. So these things are older than five to 600 million years ago, older than half a billion years. And these exist in Idaho and Montana. There are uh, huge outcroppings of sedimentary strata to be found in these parts of Idaho and Montana. And these are sedimentary rocks that actually get that old. And in fact, we can find fossils in these rocks. In a Northwest part of Montana, we've actually seen stromatolites algal mats that still are preserved in rocks over well over a billion years old and they're part of these precambrian sedimentary formations so it's possible but the question we need to ask ourselves is it possible to find these fossils in rocks that old so now let's once again consider what we have here these are corals these are horn corals and i've also been finding some brachiopod fossils in these now, corals and brachiopods are more advanced animals, and these are much later in the scene in terms of geologic time than algae would be. So it fits so to find those algal mats being more than a billion years old. In fact, we have stromatolites that are even older than that in places like Australia, and we found some old life forms in places like Canada. But what we don't find are things like corals and brachiopods, these advanced animal forms in layers that are over a billion years old. And the clue is again in the name, the Precambrian, before the Cambrian. 
That's an important marker because we call it the Cambrian because of formations that were found originally in Canada where we had these formations that contained this array of interesting animals, interesting animal forms that we still have today. These were body plans that still stick around in most of the animals that we see today. But again, none of those animal body plans are found in older than Cambrian strata. Now there are some interesting finds out there like our Ediacaran fauna that serve as a potential whole other animal plan, but that's a discussion for another day. For the most part, you don't expect these animal forms in formations older than the Cambrian, such as the Precambrian belt formations. Okay, fine. So if these can't be Precambrian, then how old are they? Well, these fossils, these brachiopods and these corals tend to fit a different age and a different formation that we often find in parts of Idaho and Montana, and that is the Mississippian limestones, such as the Madison limestone group. These limestones are around 350 million years old, and they were from a shallow seaway.